Okay, I'll be cooking Japanese curry. This is the SB brand. This is really popular brand. It's the mild flavor. This was about five dollars Australian. Okay, this is about three potatoes, small size, probably around three hundred grams. Four baby carrots, probably around three hundred grams. One onion. 100 plus grams um, 500 grams of chicken thigh fillet I just dice it up so the plan first is to cook the one that takes the longest uh, we're not going to cook it all the way just halfway because we're going to stew it so potatoes first cap potato and carrots first and then we'll cook the onion and the meat While the potato and carrots are cooking, I open it up. There's a warning here. It smells really good, the curry. I'll be only be using half the packet. I feel that it's too salty, so just half of it. Okay, now it's uh, probably half cooked ready still firm so I'm gonna put it aside and start cooking the chicken and onions So we're gonna not cook the chicken all the way. Probably we one third cook, and then we're gonna start putting the water. Okay, the meat is already half pink, half white. So I'm gonna put in back the veggies, stir it, and then just gonna add hot water and bring it to the boil and let it stew. The amount of water you add in depends on how watery you like your or how saucy you like your curry to be. Bring it to the boil and then drop down the heat to simmer. Okay, while it's simmering, um, don't forget to keep stirring occasionally. Uh, make sure it's on low heat. If the water seems to be not enough, you can always add more water, but always do little by little. Don't put too much unless you end up with soup instead. Um, I guess you can also put tomato. I will not be doing it, but maybe someone would like the curry a bit tangy. Yeah. Still not cooked yet. You can see it's still pink inside. Something you also can add to your curry rice is furikake. 280 from Daiso. This stuff is amazing. So it comes in medium hot, hot extra hot okay it's been simmering for a while now let's see if the meat is cooked yep it's all cooked I have a taste test mm, amazing okay as you notice the sauce has it's very thick now and if you remember I put uh, that much water in it so don't put too little water, don't put too much water because you can see the mama water put previously has simmered down to that. You put too little, you will end up burning your curry. Ok, 
Okay, there you go. Japanese curry. Thanks for watching, guys.